Hi everyone, how are you going? Today I thought I would just bring you along with me. I've got this piece of drop paper down and it's pretty grungy looking and I want to use it to decorate um, a tin can. Um, I use these tin cans to hold my paintbrushes in and I need another big one. That was the last one I decorated with um, my birdies on it and I just really liked the way that that turned out so I thought I might use this one to decorate this one here. Um, I might use this paper to decorate this one here. I don't come across these big tin cans very often. This one had, um, what did it have in it? Um, apples. Um, I finally got round, made my husband some apple turnovers the other day. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> I don't do very much. I don't do very much baking now that I've found art. <laughs> But I like to use these big tins when I do get them. So that's my plan. But the way this paper is at the moment is yuck. I just, um, it's just got too much black on it and not enough colour. So I thought I might use some of my twistables, my Crayola twistables. Plus I have got some other paints here. These are... Um, I've got some Liquitex Basics paints and I've got just some cheap craft paints and some other Montmartre paints as well. So I just thought I would decorate this, plus I'm going to use some stencils on it which should be good. So I'll put it into fast forward and let you watch my process.
Okay, so what I've been doing, I've just been building up and building up the layers with some paint and with some of my Crayolas and I'm going to use some of this one, Road stencil I'm using is from Melinda at Scrapbooking and Craft and I'll leave Melinda's um, details down below. She does some awesome, awesome stencils. So I'm going to take this up off the table now. There. And I'm liking that. That looks pretty cool. Um, and what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go around and just, as soon as I find my, my white, I've got one, one's empty. Okay. I've got my white Signo and I'm just going to just do a few little scribble lines around the petals on that flower. So that's done me. I've got splatters all over me. <laughs> all of my arm. Oh, it's one of them days. <sighs> okay. But I like that. I'm not going to do much more to it. I'm just going to let it dry. And then I'm going to rip it up for my tin. <laughs> okay, so I think that turned out pretty cool. I can work with that. It's a lot better than having all those big black grungy lines on it from the texture, from the markings on the texture. That looks pretty cool. I like it. Okay, so I suppose in the next video I will show you decorating my, my new paint tin. Well, it's not really new, but it's going to be nicely decorated tin so I can store some of my paint brushes in. Okay, you all have a good day. Bye-bye.